All right, so today I'll be opening my favorite glassware. I love um, labs and one of the things is, especially when I'm doing labs from home, due to, of course, the circumstance we're in now, that's why I purchased a lot of this labware, or uh, in this case, glassware. Now, one of my favorite, of course, is the granite cylinder and the volumetric flask as well as the electronic balance, one of my favorite, and of course, the burette. But here we have a box that I'm gonna open and I'm gonna show you, again, one of my favorite glassware. Let's do that right now. Okay, so here it is. This is the box. Let's open up what is in here. And I'll show you. I bought more of it, of course. And let's see what we have in here. It took longer than I expected. Usually it arrives within a week. Now it took about two weeks to get. And they're okay. Good. They gave me a receipt for that one and let's see what we have wow nicely boxed look at that come with a bubble wrap there <gasps> yes so you might have guessed it it's let me see grab it up volumetric flask look at that huh my favorite wow okay let's take it out we got the one liter we got the 500 milliliter and we got the let's take this down the 250 see i already got the 100 i got two 100 and i decided you know what i want more of this volumetric flask i think it's very useful in fact the reason i bought it is because of its position its ability to measure liquid uh, solution a very precise manner let me let me show you the 1000 liter here wow it's nicely wrapped i like it let's take it out oh beautiful it's almost like owning gold <laughs> you know the thing is people don't appreciate these kind of things but i tell you when you know when there's a short supply of these type of glassware it's like gold and diamond they're very hard to come by. All right, so let's see. Uh, ooh, yes. Now, what I like about this one is look at that. They even gave me the nice uh, stop. It's a it's a glass stop. Wow, glass stopper. It's really cool. Nice. Oh, look at this. One thousand milliliter, plus and minus uh, 0 0.6 talk about liability right i mean that is amazing is there any oh, oh no i hope that's not a crack there uh oh boy there's a little bit of a crack here it's not a crack it's like a little scratch i guess you call it hopefully that's not going to turn into a uh crack okay there's one thing i don't like about buying uh online because during delivery there could be a crack somewhere in the glassware now this is the b grade this is the b grade and maybe that's why it's not uh you know like new there's some kind of scratch and on the glassware hopefully that doesn't turn out to be a crack so i think it's okay it's just a little scratch here a little scratch there i just want to try to save money and and since i'm not putting in a hot liquid i think it should be fine okay so as long as the uh, temperature is uh, room temperature it's cool between two three degrees all the way to like 50 degree celsius i think it should be okay um it wouldn't affect the crack or anything like that so i am okay with that you know it only cost me about 10 bucks to buy this 1000 milliliter plus and minus 0.6 volumetric flask i love that wow look at this and oh, let's try to get that out whoa this they tighten up so tight I think they put some kind of. I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm gonna. Try, I'm not gonna pull it out right now. 
it, I might, I might break it. Okay, let's look at this one here. Hopefully the quality on this one is better. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh, this one doesn't have... Oh, okay, there it is. There's the uh, stopper, the class stopper is in this one. I, that one was in here. This one is here. Let's take that out. Now the one thing I like about volumetric glass, as it's one of my favorite glassware of course, is its precision. See, when you measure 1000 milliliter, you can count on it that you get 1000 milliliter, plus and minus 0.6, right? There's some error involved. So for example, you should, if you measure 1000 milliliter, it's gonna be 1000, it could be 1000.6 milliliter or 999 uh, 0.4 milliliter, so within that 1,000 milliliter, as it's plus and minus 0.6. The 500 milliliter volumetric flask, this one here. Okay, wow. Ooh, look at that. This one says, okay, let's take this away. 0.4, plus and minus 0.4 milliliter, which is even more uh, accurate. Now, of course, you only get lower volume. You only get 500 mils. That's all right, and then plus and minus 0.4 milliliter. This one is actually really nice. There's no scratch on them, whereas this one does have it. I just worry a little bit about this one. Uh, it's, this is external, so it's okay. It's a little crack, scratch here as well. Okay, I gotta be careful with this one, but it's all right. You know what, for the price I'm paying, this is not bad at all. A scratch here too. I guess why it's a class B. This one, wow, look like brand new. It's beautiful. Ooh. You know, you, I guess you're not going to get always get the best. I can always ask to return it, but I think it's too much work for me. Oh, this one. Yeah. Love it. Ooh. Wow, they did say it's $22. 20, they say $19. $19 for just this? I guess so. But this comes with this. And again, it's only 10 bucks. Wow. This one, $19, okay. This one is $22, <laughs> but I bought it for half that price. Okay, very good. Last one. Okay, let's see how this one turned out. Okay. Wow, I love it. Whoa, nice. Now this one is 250 mils, plus or minus 0.24. Okay, so if I bring it up all the way to this line, this calibrated line, and looking at the middle, the solution and, and the smiscus, I'll be able to get 250 mils plus or minus 0.24. Okay, very precise. This is why I love volumetric flask. Just that precision. Okay, now where's that? Did it come with a, oh yeah, it did. Glass stopper, this one here. Okay, so. Let's open it up. Wow. I got these three. Now I guess it's class B, so it's not, uh, you know, I don't think it's new. It doesn't look like new, or at least it's not, it's new, but it's not uh, the best quality. But you know, for the price I'm paying, I think for all three of these, this is around $33, like about 10 to $11 each. That is a bargain, people. This is bar a bargain price. Can't go wrong with that. Wow, I mean, normally these ones, you know, if you get, you know, class A and it's really uh, new, uh, this is new, but um, if you to buy, you know, the high grade one, this is gonna cost you close to a hundred bucks. It's just so well built. Look at that, whoa, beautiful. This one's a $16 one, they put a label at 16, but I think it's worth more than that. I'm willing to pay even more than this, but because it's class B, I guess that's why it's a little bit cheaper. Still, you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm not using any concentrated, like, like highly concentrated acid or base anyway. And I'm using a diluted solution. So this is fine. This is just fine. And I'm not using a high temperature solution. And so this is not gonna crack or anything like that. Although I will be using the um, magnet stir, right? To stir some of my solution, but I think this should be able to handle it. So there we go. This is my favorite or one of my favorite glassware, which is the volume 
metric flask. Now I got all of them. I got the 100, the 250, the 500, and the 1000. Now it would be nice if I have the 50 mils and the 25 mils, but you know this is good enough. I have the volumetric uh, pipette which can do 10 mils anyway, and I have the uh, graded cylinder that can do uh, 25 and 50. I think I'm okay with this uh, amount of glassware I have, and it's all for home experiment. So join with me in other uh, videos. I will do some chemistry videos and have fun with chemistry experiment. And all these is going to be quite useful. I'll see you next time. Educate2.com